Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Whoa, whoa. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Whoa, whoa. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. how it's done these days. Well I know, I know, yeah. It's yeah, marvellous. I've just been... I can't say we're into that, but uh, oh yeah, there's plenty of people doing it. Well, here I am again in a wonderful scenery. I've just been given a, a new permission to dig in this woodland and some adjoining pastures. We had a little test dig last week and in about 40 minutes we brought up half a dozen coins, a very nice button and a few other bits and pieces, including some junk of course. But I'm back today, and what a glorious day it is. There's lovely wildlife around, a stream behind, uh, behind the camera. And uh, if I find anything interesting today, in fact, if I find anything at all, I'll bring it back and show you on video. But I think I'm gonna be spending my, most of my time just admiring the scenery today. <laughs> well, this one doesn't sound brilliant. But I'm going to dig it. Just a piece of scrap tin. But there you go. That sounds nice. I've got to dig it. It's just not quite right, but I've got to dig it. Now, I wonder what this one could be. I've just had a Georgia fifth penny. That was off camera. Oh, look at that. That looks like possibly an old torch. Didn't think it sounded quite right. Well, I've probably been going now for something like an hour and a half. Um, nothing really has come up apart from a few decimal pennies, but I've just found that. And that is an old pre-decimal 2D, in other words, penny token. So it's a two penny token. I haven't been able to read that yet, but it's got Keithley on it that I can see. So it's a local token. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at that in a minute and see if I can work out more of the legend on there. But that's nice. Well, shortly after that token came up, I decided to call it a day as nothing else was really happening. Next morning, I drove over to the coast, but I knew there wasn't much land available apart from one little strip and a piece of pasture. I also knew that the signals were very few and far between, and I would need to work very hard to find anything at all. Remarkably, it only took me five minutes to get my first signal, but it turned out to be junk. Because it was hard going, I decided to switch my days over to the Ultimate program. I'll put a link to the video for that program in this video's description. quality of that tone. Woohoo! <laughs> Second hole. Well, look at this. William the third shilling. So I'm happy with that. Let's get going and see how long it takes me till I get the next signal. 
I've just had my third signal after an hour. So the first signal was a piece of tin, second signal was a William milled sixpence, and this is the third signal. Look at this. It's showing 70. Let's see what it is, shall we? Okay, it's not much. It wasn't very deep, but it was quiet. It is so fragile. Um, I haven't yet ID'd it, but it's a broken hammy. Only my second hammy this year, and we're into June now. I'm lucky today because I'm finding some good stuff when I find anything at all. So this is three and a half hours almost. And it's just like this all the time until just occasionally you'll get a squeak. Oh boy, this is tiring. I've just been over the entire field zigzagging as I go. It's now five past one, so this is now three hours, five minutes, and I've only had five signals. You've seen the second and the third, the two coins, broken, the willy and the broken hammered. The fourth was a piece of junk, and I've just got back to the car, and I get that up. You might be able to see that it's either a George the second or George the fourth. I'm not sure which. It's probably more likely to be George the second. I don't know why I say that even. So, three coins, all different, two silver. The signals, as I've said, are very few and far between. You tend to lose a bit of concentration every now and again. But finding that William um, second signal just kept my spirits high. And that wasn't far from the car when I first started. I get back to the car and find my third coin. Up the road that way, I've got a permission which I believe is going to be harvested in October and then it's going to be fallow until March. And that one has so far been my best field for Roman, Saxon, Medieval, Iron Age, various things from coins, stirrup mounts, axe, pulse stave, um, all sorts of various bits and pieces. And it's been detected for 11 years by a metal detecting group, at least one, possibly two groups. But the soil is so nice. It's a bit like this, just lovely and light. And I guess really every time it becomes um, ploughed and ready for, a, for, for searching, more and more stuff comes up. The only problem is of course that in October it's going to be um, stiff stubble and it's full of ruts the field so you can have some long areas and some short areas of stubble. But that'll be nice when that comes up. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with this sort of stuff. I can't complain so far. And look at that tiny little thing. Uh, let's have a look. look. It looks big through the camera, but it's not. Look at the size of my fingers. So, look at that. I doubt if it's real. You know, a real gemstone. Probably only paste or something like that. But I found it because of the metal bit on the back. Well, I carried on searching for another hour, but I didn't find anything else. Also, you'll notice the camera is following me. That's because I've now got a new Osmo Mobile gimbal, and I'll be showing you more about that in a video coming up soon. Catch you later. Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector oh, oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes Looking for anything that's old New videos every week, so please subscribe